Okay, now now this is another type of figure, but now you know we can go very fast. You know, easy. We create a box. We call that x, and we put it in three value, one to three. We create another box y, two for one, and then plot y x and y. Label. Now we we used x label and y label. This is one of the function in plot. So x label, we call it x x, y label, y x, and we also use the title. Okay, plot title, my first graph now, this is the third graph in your thesis, and then show or save, because show will not work now. Okay, and then plot, you will have this one. Try it. So I am need just to comment this, go up, comment here, go down. Now, actually, this is another example. Maybe we can skip this, and we can go to the next example, because this example is easy, right? Or you think this a uh, difficult example? Easy. Yeah. Maybe we can go to the next example, which has the same function, but a bit complicated. Okay. So here, x1, y1. So actually, we have two boxes, x1, y1, x2, one, one, two. So we have two functions. And we label this, we label this, and then here we plot x2, y2, and we make it with line 2, and we plot x1, y1, and we call it line 1, and then we add the title, and even we add legion for our uh, graph. Okay? I am not sure if I tried this yesterday. If not, we can try it together. So I can have a copy from this. Actually, no, I didn't, I didn't try it yesterday. So I can try it here with you now. Okay. I need just to use a plot save, plot save function, which is this one. Control copy and go. I will show you something. Now I will put plot save here. <laughs> now I will plot plot save here. This is our figure number three, okay? So now I would like to discover what is a mistake. I will run this code. Easy busy, run, great. We can go now. This is figure three. This is figure three. Accept all? Hmm? Acceptable? No. No, not acceptable. Why? There is no figure. Yeah. Do you know why? We can go to this to the code and see. Why? Okay. 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 I jump with the head here. Your program should be logic, right? So, for example, you can't say plot 
x and y before defining x and y, right? So it's logic to write x, y, then plot them, right? Okay. Here, we show the figure before saving it. So actually, it's not logic. You need to save the figure first. We need to save the figure first and then show. Okay? Save. Run. We can go now. Figure 3. You can you can visualize it direct, but it will not save. So if we can say here, if we go here and we close this one, so now we don't have this figure anymore. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I don't think it will work. But we can try. Why not? Okay, but we need actually to restart the script. Save, start it because if we run it now, we would see the figure because the figure is here. The figure is here, okay? Because it's from the previous run. So we need to restart it to be sure that there is no figure there and we try to run it. So the figure will show there, most probably will show there, but it will not be seen. But I didn't try it yesterday, so it just said to work. But this example, just to give you when you are writing the code, not only here, but in general, you need to be logic. You need to first open the CS3 file, import the data, and then you start to work with the data. You can't work with the data directly before importing it, so you need to make it step by step. So now run it. It's work. If we go now here to the plot, it's there. Okay. So it's plot because you have show, but you didn't save it. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And here you have like, you know, two lines and you have lesion because in our code we add the lesion and the lesion is line one and line two because you already defined you already defined in your code that x1 y1 will be labeled line one and it's appear here as a line So now we can go to the next example, which is a very nice example. Okay, now we need to play a bit more with the figure. We need to plot x and y. So we have a function x, y, some numbers. We need to plot them, so x and y. But we don't need to plot them easy busy. We need to work a bit with them. We need to make the line green. We need to make the line, instead of continuous line, make it dash. We make it a bit thick. We need to mark the point, the X and Y intersection with an O. We need to uh, make this O blue. And the size of O is 12. Okay? And then we need to add label. We need to add title. And we need to see the figure. So now you start to play more with the figure. You need to change the color. You need to put whatever you want. You can play it as you like. OK? So we can go now. I need to comment this one. Go here. So this is this is our code, okay? Exactly as uh, as in the lecture, <coughs> or as.
as in the presentation, except here I saved it here because I would like to use this code in, uh, in your master thesis. So I saved it with uh, Q1BNG. Now I will run it. Beautiful Excel. Yep. And here, because I am saving it, I am saving some the file. If I will go to the folder, the file is here. So you can get it from here, insert it to your series fetch. Next one. You can plot bar. So the difference between this one, it's plot. BLT plot. If you change this to bar, you will get bars. And again, here you start to play. I need to plot name. I need to plot value. I need to make the bar green. Okay? Let's make it. Why not? start to be we need to run a bit faster but why not we can play with this yes this is a bar example okay I didn't like green, okay? Blue? Blue. <laughs> we just need to make this blue. Blue. Red? Yeah, why not? Okay? Good. I didn't like the figure. I need to make it horizontal. Okay, I need instead of make this vertical, I need to make it like horizontal like this. It's called bar horizontal. So instead of bar, we just add horizontal H. Okay. Run. So this is this is a horizontal one. We already presented it. So we need just to add H here, and that's all. The same way we can start to play a bit. If you need uh, to show data from different animal, for example, you have you have um, yesterday, for example, you told me that you are thinking in the data to group them. If we succeeded that, you already grouped them. Like, you know, this uh, type of food uh, has characteristic feature of uh, high energy. And this type of food has low energy. And then you would like to plot them in the same bar, in the same chart, but uh, to show the different color. This is a high one, this is a low one, okay? You can get the, just the high one and save them the value, even it's called here high, okay? And then you uh, uh, name them, if you would like to name them, which is the header, if you like. And then you can just start to plot, actually this is a bar chart. To use the bar chart, and then you start to plot them one by one. Okay, and it will give you the root. So we can check. 
this is the bar chart we need just to commit this this is not the bar this is something different where is the bar yesterday but I can go I can get this one left okay they didn't know what the left is uh, high number they didn't name yes actually it's not left it's names right thing right second is left it's names yeah it's names that's correct so block bar names against five with the width, with the color, okay. Okay, should should be okay now. I hope. Okay. So I need to check change this in the presentation. <laughs> this one is not left. This one is names. Otherwise, you will not make it work. Okay. Can go further. You can. You, we can plot histogram. So, plot histogram. What is the data that we will go? Will will get? Here it's edges. We need the histogram because you know histogram is just one value. We don't need x one, right? So we need to draw histogram with the edge. So we will plot the histogram of the edge. And then bin, which is the, um, the interval, okay? And the range from zero to 100 with interval 10, okay? And label the X edge and label uh, the Y number of people and the title of the histogram, my histogram, and show. Make sense? Should we try it? So actually, I will upload this lectures and the script. Okay? You don't need to use the script. You just can copy from the lecture direct. Control copy. As I as I what I do now. But note that in the lecture, we didn't save the file. If you would like to save the file, you need to add, you need to add, uh, this save function. You need to add this function in order to save the
So you can just use the code from the from the PowerPoint presentation and try it. If you don't want to use the, the code. But here you can find the code easy. Of course, it's not organized by, by the case, but you will find it like, you know, each code is separated by this, uh, this three quotation. So three quotation, three quotation, this is a code of one step, one bucket. Yeah. Again, we can play with the histogram. We can make it not just bars, we can make it like an area. Okay. We can create scatter plot. Okay, most probably you will use scatter plot in your in your uh, thesis. So I will get this one. Copy, just copy. I even will open new new script. Put it here. What's the problem here? Invalid character. Why invalid character? Ah, blue. Okay, they didn't understand the word blue. So you, again, you need to check when you are copying from the PowerPoint presentation to your script, you need to check that this quotation is in, in the right order. Because the first one, it was not in the right order. Okay? Then run. We have now a scatter diagram. Okay, so the scatter diagram, we are using plot scatter. And then the x value, y value, the size, the color, everything. Change the color, change the color. Instead of blue, we can make it red. Good? Yep. This is another example of scatter diagram. It's the same, it's the same, but here he start to uh, play with lesion. Uh, he start to play with uh, Instead of circle, he make it like star, green, okay? So we just play with other things. If you have two different type of data, you can define X, Y, plot the first type of data, and then X, Y, plot the second type of data on the same diagram with different characters. So you can use like several parts, plot them in the same figure with different as we did before in this histogram. You can create by chart. Okay. You can create this one, I know. Copy. Just prove maybe we can return back to our main file. By chart. Okay, so here we have the activities, we have the percentage for each activity, we have the color red, yellow, green, blue for each activity, and then we start to put the slides. So we make it slides, so I chart slides, the label of the chart activity, 
the color use the color from here the angle or the start angle we need to start our ratio by 90 the shadow is true we can uh, explode zero 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 one. I don't know what this we need the radius okay and we plot the slice and both lesion and choose We can use plot in order to plot functions, okay, as we used as the first, the first example. You can create multiple plots. Okay, you can create multiple plots. So here, if you would like to have a lot of data and you need not to plot them in one figure, but in two figures, you can do that. You can do subplot. Another subplot. Okay, can, we can uh, uh, use this script. Unfortunately, this is not... Uh, okay. So we need to rewrite this one. So first of all, I need to import, import mat plot library as plot by plot as by by plot, and this is will be imported as plt, and then I need to import another library which is a number import n y number as n b and then now i will plot the first subplot plot one and in plot one our x value we say we n b array and this array is equal to equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, and then y equal to another array, array which is uh, 3, 8, 1, then and then we need to plot subplot not a main plot so plot p l t dot sub plot we need to define what is the subplot here one two one Yeah. So one, one, make our plot in one column. Okay. One is the first one. It's one, two, one, one to one. So this is a column. Or the row I think this is a column and this is a row and this is a number I need to check this now but you are defining the location of the plot okay one to one and then now plot 
plot x and y. Now I need to create the second subplot. So this is plot two, and this is here y equal to n b dot array, and in our array we put zero, one, two, three. Do you have to use uh, empty arrays when when using no when no it just it just example okay. you can you can make it the important code for us today is a subplot okay. is a subplot one here this is data from whatever you want the example here is some array from nb you can use the uh, panda one you can use you can create it as you like okay and then y equal to nb dot array and then 10, 20, 30, 40. And then plot dot sub plot. One, two, two, and then plot. Now, now we create the place, and then we put inside the place the figure. So now, plot x, y, and then show the show I think you're missing an A in the first line of your plot two. Where is that? In array. Uh, just two down. Yeah, you see uh, plot uh, two. Yeah. Line two hundred and sixty four. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Not, uh, okay. Save. Run. Uh, maybe we need to make it larger. Yeah. It created two figures. Okay. Two places according to this location, according to this definition. Okay. If I remember correctly, one, one, this mean plot one figure, plot one figure. Two, this is uh, in location two, this is one, this is, this is actually the column. So this is the column one, this is column two. According, uh, <coughs> sorry, uh, I tried to look at the, uh, I don't know what you call the description of uh, the subplot. Yeah, yeah. And I think it's and rows and then columns and then it's index. Okay. So first is number of rows and then number of columns and then index. Ah, yes, the yes. Place. Okay, okay. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. So we have only only one row. Mm -hmm. So it have only one row. Mm -hmm. And we have two column. And this figure will be index one. And this figure will be index two. Okay. Maybe we can play with this. Actually... We need to have two columns, two, two rows. We need to have one column. This is two row, and to have one column, try this. It's expected to make it instead of like uh, horizontal, make it vertical. See? Okay? Great, so this is our result. 
here they define so the thing that you are searching here so first is the row two is the column and then the first plot in the in the figure and then the row the column the second plot in the figure we can plot more yeah this is the one that make it that we test like make it horizontal a vertical instead of horizontal so this is the result okay we can make it more complex we can add four sub rows like four figures okay the, this code is to make four figures and or actually a, a six figure so this code to create six figure so if we go here this is figure one and you can see here we have two rows three columns and this is the first figure and then we have two row three column and this is the second figure two row three column this is the third figure here two row three column this is the fourth this is the fifth this is the sixth you would like to make it eight you can make it eight no problem but here you need to increase three rows three column it will give you nine not eight and then you can increase whatever okay and once you make this you will have this nice nice so this is summary of the lecture as you know it's just two hours so we just scratch the surface of the power of matplot we it's really power power tool you can create whatever you want there you can create very nice figures you can get the figure direct to your seats you can read about about different type of of, uh, of figures um, i will try to search about a small book or small manual to upload it with with a lecture as well so you can, if you would like to go a bit deeper, you can have this manual as a guide for you. Uh, there are a lot, uh, a lot more graph about about in mat in matplot. There is, the, we just plot few of them, not all of them. Uh, we can use with the same way, with the same technique, something called seaboard. So if I asked you if you would like to work with seaboard, what you should do first? How you install the seaboard? Okay, by by list, and then if you didn't have it, bib install seaboard. Good. Okay. Uh, and of course, of course, today we just played a bit with uh, with this mad plot but in reality it's not that plot it's combination between banda and mad plot so when you start to work with the, your data you will insert your file the csv file you will work with banda you clean up the banda the data and then you plot it okay and this is just to give you an overview of what we did so far. During the previous lecture, we was working with data cleaning. Yesterday, we finished this one. We still have question mark, but we're still going on in the course. Today, we worked a bit with the data plotting. Next week, we will uh, go to the QGIS, how to plot on maps. Okay. And then maybe we'll have an exam. We'll see. And then after data plotting, we will go to data insight. We need to look in detail about the data. We need to see exactly what is the meaning of this data, because this is the aim of the course. We don't, the course is not about 
plotting or about how to work with Banda or so. These are just sort of basic things. The most important thing is to look at the data, to make clustering, to make analysis of the data, to get value out of it. Okay? And this will be followed by another type of analysis. So normally, when you are working with such data, it's, it's like this. First, I bring the data. I get the data. I clean the data. And then I plot the data, like what we did, histogram, what is the maximum, what is the minimum, some statistics, just to see the data. And then I go to cluster the data. And then I start to replot the data according to the cluster. And after that, I start to make a decision. Conclusion of your master series, or decision for government. So it should be like this. So actually, plotting is coming two times. One, in order to visualize the data, to get some statistics, just to understand what's the content of your data. And then once you get information out of the data, get um, a wise decision out of the data, you need to replot it again in order to make it more understandable for people who couldn't understand it. Because you as a scientist, you understand data. You don't need actually to go to plotting. Because if you look at the data, a pure data in table, you can get uh, what's the meaning of this data. But when you are writing a report for the government to say this area is very valuable and we need to make it as a protected area, for example, okay? You need to visualize it to this people because they don't know the number. Good? Good. So, thank you. If you don't have any question, um, any questions? Yeah. Uh, what uh, week did you say that we should potentially have an exam, mid midterm exam? Uh, which week? Uh, definitely not next week. Okay. Not next week. Definitely not next week. Because next week we will have a, a lecture and it's too early for you to have like an exam like a short note exam. It will be week after. And the exam can or will be based on lectures and, and uh, yeah, workshops. Yeah, it will be based mainly on, on, on lectures yeah. and we will touch a bit in workshop. It will be basic things. It will not come out from sky so yeah. you know again the written exam will focus on the first part of each lecture the theoretical part mm -hmm. maybe we will get few things from the uh, practical part like you know do you think this code is wrong and where is the wrong part for example mm -hmm. and the wrong part will be missing definition or missing import for example mm -hmm. you start the code without import pandas how I work without import panda. How I can show the code or the figure without import the uh, mad plot. Okay? So it will be an easy one. Not so easy. Okay? And maybe they will say that we don't need to make this. We'll see. So I will inform you, most probably they will not reply me today. Because today is Friday, everyone is yeah. away. Most of all, they will reply me Monday. So Mon Monday, I think Monday we have a we have a workshop. No, on Tuesday. Yeah, we have a Tuesday. Okay. So maybe in Tuesday we can we can uh, have this. But uh, I think we need to have uh, uh, a homework. So I will set personal homework. Okay, for today. Uh, you have to deliver it uh, maybe in two weeks and this simply present the data that you uh, you downloaded this 44 column or rows in some figures yeah. easy mm -hmm. so just script more script this is the data insert the data get the different column or different row and then you start to play a bit with it Histogram, uh, uh, by plot, uh, as well. Mm -hmm. Good. And this will be the topic for the next uh, workshop. 
So the workshop, next workshop, you will work with the plotting in group. But before that, I hope that you can, over the weekend, you can just try simple, simple two, three examples out of it. And then you can follow up with a report, personal report, each individual would submit this report with some figures, and then the group report. Easy? Again, I, I don't care about exam. I, don't, I do care about your knowledge. It doesn't matter with me to, to have exam and get full mark and then at the end you, you couldn't use it. Yeah. It's important to use it. Yeah. And today is a clear example of how you, to use it. It's, if you don't care about big data, if you don't care about machine learning, I don't want to, to use this in your research in future research. Make sense? But at least it will be useful for you. Do you like uh, can can uh, Python replace, for example, uh, R? Oh, of course, definitely. Completely. Of course. This is why I am yeah. teaching Python. Yeah. You know, I think most <laughs> of the professor here are teaching R. Yeah. Yeah. That's what all yeah. Has yeah. But yeah. R R is a statistical language. It yeah. just work with the number. Yeah. Python is programming. Yeah. You can do whatever. Yeah. You have more. It's Natural. both. It's programming. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So yeah. you yeah. can you can use it as a statistic. Yeah. There is a lot of uh, you can use it as a statistic. There is a lot of uh, package and library for statistics and plot it and work with it as you like. But if you would like to program a new program, mm. you make it. If you would like to work with machine learning, mm. it's the best way. Uh, it's open code, open source. So Whatever you want, you can just search on Google. I am looking for a Bison library to to create um, anything that you are just in it. Mm -hmm. You will find it. So why are so many who are giving this lecture here teaching in Python in the R Studio? Uh, yeah. It, why is it? Because it's just uh, because I am geologist. Mm -hmm. I am come from geology. Yeah. Oh. Okay. And in geology. We like, uh, actually we in geology, we didn't use both of them. <laughs> but in a way, it's, it's like driven by the background of the research. Okay. So if you oh. go to physics, for example, yeah. you will find them, they are using R, or maybe they are using another, another, uh, another thing. So yeah. if you go to mathematics department, mm. most probably they use a called, program called Mathematica, mm. okay? Here, the department, they are teaching from long time the R, so they mm -hmm. like R. Oh, okay. And it's something where everything in R is for free, and it's some packages in Python is free. No, Python, I think everything is free oh, okay. as well. Someone R, everything is free. Mm -hmm. So both of them are free. But like uh, on a global scale, how, how popular is R Studio compared to Python in the science uh, field. Actually, R R is stronger language as well. Really? So R very strong, of course. Okay. Of course, they will not teach here something weak. It's no, very very strong, no, yeah. very 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 strong. Yeah, okay. But you know, you have like Mathematica, you have R, you have Python. Of course, there is a transit, a transit like C plus plus or uh, C language, which is really programming language. Mm. Uh, but Mathematica, for example, and R, they are statistical programs. Mm -hmm. It's just for statistics. Mm -hmm. Of course, no you can, because it's code based, you can play it a bit, and you can, you can also do machine learning with R. Mm -hmm. So R can do machine learning and uh, uh, artificial intelligence. But if you would like to learn the basic mm -hmm. things, better to go to this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or this, this, you know, my preference. So maybe maybe some if 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 this course will run with another professor, mm -hmm. maybe he or she will be referred to R. Okay, I would like to use R. Mm -hmm. But you know, it will be the same. It's the same. The same steps. The same. Step. The different. The main difference for the language is how to write the script. Yeah. I feel like Python is more understandable when it comes. I don't know if it's your teacher, but uh, <laughs> it's yeah, it's easier to play around with. I feel exactly. Like. Mm -hmm. It's very easy. And it's very simple compared to other languages. Mm. 
other than human language. And again, the R, the powerful of the R, it's programming language. Mm -hmm. So I actually, I was planning before we, we start our, our, uh, our lecture that your project that you will work with, you're writing it script by script, piece by piece. So I am, not, I am sure that you, you didn't make this, but I hope to do this, right? You know, until yesterday, you write a script, standard script to clean up the data, mm -hmm. okay? And from today, you start to work at home to use this data clean in order to plot figures. And then, step after. Oh, oh, oh sorry. Did you have a lecture? Uh, we finish. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. 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 Do you have a meeting here? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, maybe I can seminar. take one minute. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah. Sorry. Three sorry. minutes. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and then, a uh, uh, week after, or in, in two weeks from now, you will start to make clustering. So you will add this as a code. Mm. And you can compress everything and make it a program, make it online. Mm. This is my dream, but I, I'm not sure if you will achieve it or not. But you can do it. So I am available if there is any questions, anything. Thank you. And uh, see you next Tuesday. Yeah. Yes.